Y'all, it's Sherry with Tinkerbell, and together you and I are making your home a sanctuary. I am doing a quick lunchtime craft because it's Friday, and I needed a break from work over my lunch hour, so I thought I would share with you what I'm doing. I am dressing up Dollar Tree pumpkins. So I have all these pumpkins that I got from Dollar Tree, and they're all different finishes. I love these kind of bronzy orange ones, just the way they are. I've got some taller ones that are a brighter orange with a little bit of green. I've got some little white ones. How cute are these? So I've got a variety of pumpkins. They're all styrofoam, so they're very easy to manipulate. And I have just decided some of them need a little bit of sparkle and a little bit of dress. So let me show you what I've done so far. This one, which <coughs> looked like this when I started, I just added some leaves and a bow too. I'm gonna show you how I did it. This one I did the same thing, but I added different leaves and different ribbon. The leaves that I'm using come in packages also from Dollar Tree. You can get them at Hobby Lobby as well. Right now, all their fall stuff is 40% off or AKA regular price in Hobby Lobby world, right? They put all of their seasonal stuff on sale for the whole season. But listen, y'all, you want the leaves that are <coughs> flexible. See how you can almost see through that leaf? Oops, I just dropped it and I can kind of crumple it up. You do not want the leaves that have a spine. See how those have a plastic spine to them? If you have that plastic spine, you will not be able to do anything with them at all. You can't decoupage them, you can't glue them, you can't do anything. That plastic spine gets in the way, prevents you from doing anything that you wanna do. So these are actually kind of useless, I'm sad to say, but I got these last year and I, actually, and I honestly just keep them around so that I don't forget which ones I don't like. Does that make sense? So you don't want the leaves with the spines. You want the leaves in the packages that are nice and flexible that you can crumple up. Okay, so let me show you a couple of other ideas before I get started making the ones that I'm going to keep for me. <laughs> you can use all kinds of stuff to embellish these pumpkins. And I have over here off camera, I have a bunch of different kinds, colors, styles of flowers and hmm, maybe like wheat. I don't know what you would call this. Florally stuff. How about that for a technical term? And it all came from Dollar Tree. Every last bit of it came from Dollar Tree. So I just grabbed a bunch of their fall flowers and greenery. I actually have about five bags of this in my craft crap room because it's gorgeous and I didn't know if they would ever have it again. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create two different groupings of pumpkins. Don't know where I'm going to put them yet, but when I figure it out, I'll post pictures. And one grouping, I'm going to use all of the pumpkins that have the more orangey, gold, tealy, tealy, greeny kind of colors. And then I've got a brighter grouping that I'm going to put somewhere else. And I found this one lonely, super bright orange pumpkin. And I'm gonna leave that one just as it is. And then I found a few of these cute little white styrofoam pumpkins. So I'm gonna leave one plain the only thing I don't like about these guys is that the stems are a little wonky, but I guess for a dollar you get what you pay for, right? But what I did with this one is watch. Cute, isn't it? All right, so these are styrofoam. This stem pops right out. Don't throw this stem away. I made that mistake, don't throw the stem away. You might decide in a hot minute that you want that stem. Okay, so I'm gonna take one of these mums, one of these little mum blooms from one of my batches, and let me make sure it's gonna fit. Yep, it fits perfectly in that one. 
So I'm gonna take some hot glue and I'm just gonna put a big dab of hot glue right here. And then I'm gonna set that stem down in that hole. How cute! It's adorable, right? Super easy, took you like two seconds and a couple of dollars. So I have two of these that I'm gonna use in the bright grouping. I'm gonna leave this one plain and I'm gonna leave this one plain. But for all y'all who are so in love with Buffalo Check right now, let me show you what you can do with this white one. If you take some Buffalo Check ribbon, okay, it can be narrower. This is, let me see if it says, it looks like it is half inch, seven eighths of an inch wide, okay? So take the stem out for right now because it's going to get in your way. But if you put a dab of hot glue right here, and I'll do this so you can see it, and then you go around the center of this pumpkin by pleating the ribbon every so often, you can create an adorable ruffle of buffalo check plaid and you can have the cutest buffalo check plaid. Um, I, I, know, I know some of y'all are probably gonna unfollow me for this statement, but I'm honestly not a fan of buffalo check. I can appreciate it. I think it's adorable, but it's not my style. So that's why I'm actually not gonna make one because I'm not gonna use it in my home. And this project, I'm actually using in my own home. Okay, so again, you just put a dab of hot glue and gather, gather glue, gather, put a dab of glue. So you're gonna end up with this little ruffly ribbon all the way around this. And then if you want, you can also tie it off with more ribbon. I think that this is super cute. I took one of the daisies off of this stem of greenery and I just took the top, the stem, took the stem out of a pumpkin and just sat the daisy right down in the center. Now after I decided what I was going to do with my pumpkin groupings, this is not what I want to do with this one. I actually want to do this and put more leaves on it, but you can put different kinds of flowers in the tops of these and you can create a whole nother look. You can pop a succulent, a plastic succulent down in the center of this if you want to. Um, but what I'm gonna show you is how I do this, because it will not take very long at all. You guys are gonna be so excited with how simple and easy this project is. And then you can dress up your Dollar Tree pumpkins and have a whole custom look just for you. Okay, I can't get that on tight. All right, so I'm gonna grab some of these leaves and all I'm gonna do is put a glob of hot glue. Be careful, y'all, these are very thin. The hot glue will seep right through the leaf and burn the bejesus out of your fingers. All right, so I am just, I'm finding some of the smaller ones. There are some pretty large leaves in this package, and if they are a little bit bigger than what you want, then just cut it down a little, like this one. See how big that one is? I'm just gonna cut that end off, and then it's a better size for what I want. So a little dab of hot glue And we're gonna do one more because remember, odd numbers look better than even numbers of things. Let's do some red. Okay, because pumpkins don't all grow. Oh, that one's got a wonky. I don't like that one. That one's got a wonky leaf. All right, we'll try that one, much better. Ooh, and I like the black shown on the top of that one. So see, I'm just gonna put a dollop of hot glue, set it 
down. I like that black showing on the top. Set it down and then take my stem and put my stem right back in the center. Now you can leave it like this if you want to. Um, a couple of these leaves I feel like are a little wonky. They're kind of flying out a little bit more than I would like them to. So I'm just gonna take a dollop of hot glue, put it on the underside and lay it down. Give it just a quick tap so that it stays. And I'm gonna do the same thing all the way around. Because this is such an easy project. And it just gives a little bit extra to Dollar Tree pumpkins. Nobody will know, not like we care, right? But nobody will know that you bought them from a Dollar Tree. And again, you can customize them however you want them. You can tie raffia around them. You can do like I've done and tie ribbon. This one, I'm gonna stare at this one for a minute. You know what? I need a little something over on this side. See how it's lopsided? Let me find a small leaf. There we go. So I'm just gonna add this one to the top. Hey, Christina, how you doing, girl? I am taking a lunch break to do a quick cra quick craft because it has just been that kind of a week and I needed a minute to do something besides, you know, work. So we are transforming Dollar Tree pumpkins, our favorite place to shop, right? All right, this one's being stubborn. Okay, so you got all the leaves all glued to the top. And I like, get all the hot glue strings away. And I like how they're all kind of laying but not stuck to the pumpkin, if that makes sense. I think I want to do a ribbon on this one. So all I'm gonna do is take some of my sparkly copper ribbon that I got. I'm sorry y'all, I don't know if I got it from Michaels or Hobby Lobby. If I had to venture to guess, I would say Michaels at the end of the fall season when they put all of their fall ribbon on sale for like 90% off. And they do that. They absolutely do that. They do it at Christmas as well. They used to do it the day after Christmas and now the last couple of years they have done it the week before. I know, right, Christina? We do love us some Dollar Tree, don't we? Okay, so these are not even. Okay. So you can push this down if you want. And I might be inclined to put a dab of hot glue on either side of the ribbon. Again, don't burn yourself. I'm pretty sure if I were to ever need my fingerprints for anything, they would be non-existent because they have just totally been burned off by hot glue, hot glue, and more hot glue. Okay, so see, we have a dressed up a Dollar Tree pumpkin in like two minutes and it looks completely different. It started out like this and now it looks like this. So what I'm going to do with this grouping, I have no idea where it's going yet, is I'm thinking I'm going to leave some of the pumpkins, let me move this, I'm going to leave some of the Dollar Tree pumpkins plain and then I'm going to just embellish some of the Dollar Tree pumpkins. But since I don't quite know where they're going yet, I don't know if I'm gonna want them all decorated. I can always come back and decorate them later. But I've got three, remember working odd numbers. I've got three plain and they're different sizes and different styles for visual interest. And I've got three that have some leaves and some bling and a little bit of embellishment. So I feel like this grouping for right now, since again, I don't know where I wanna put it and I don't know what I'm gonna do with it yet, that it's good to go. So I'm gonna push this one out of the way and 
where's my little white group thing? So then I just want to show you again what you, else you can do with these little pumpkins. You can take flowers, pop the stem off, and put a little flower right down in the center of it. That's all you gotta do. Add a little dab of hot glue and you're good to go. You can also take ribbon for all y'all again who love buffalo chuck and kind of pleat it like this around the top and you've got a really cute buffalo check pumpkin. If you really want to get ambitious with the ribbon, you can also do this. Pop the top off, run the ribbon down the side. Now for all y'all who have like OCD and everything has to be perfect, this is probably not going to be the craft option for you, especially if you have wider ribbon like I do, because it's not going to stick to the pumpkin on every side. Does that make sense? But how cute is that? If y'all like buffalo check, you just put some dabs of hot glue in some places to keep it stuck. You can even go across the other way if you want to. And you've got a super cute buffalo check pumpkin. Now I'm thinking, do I want to run? Because this is my grouping that again, I have no idea what I'm going to do with. Oh, and I forgot to mention, I found one plastic pumpkin. He was very lonely all by himself. And so I felt sorry for him at Dollar Tree and I decided to bring him home. But as much as I love glittery stuff, a glittered pumpkin to me makes absolutely no sense. Not like a white pumpkin with a mum in the center of it makes sense, but just go with me here for a second. Plus, it's the only glitter pumpkin that I have. So what I'm gonna do is um, later when I'm done working, um, I am gonna be out in the shop. I've got some custom orders to do. I'm gonna spray paint this one white with my super cheap spray paint. And then I will have another white one for this grouping of a slightly different size to give it some interest. And I'll have one orange one and I'll have two white ones with kind of matching orange flowers. And then I'll have two plain white ones. And right now I'm thinking that I just wanna leave some of them plain. So y'all, happy lunch hour. I hope that this gives you an idea or five of what you can do with inexpensive Dollar Tree pumpkins, some ribbon, maybe some raffia, whatever you can find, jewels, bling, whatever you want. But think outside the traditional box when you are shopping. Um, I'm gonna digress for a second. I was in Hobby Lobby two days ago and their little price gun was going because they still use that old ticket gun, which it cracks me up. I love being in there when they're doing that. But when they got that ticket gun out, that means they're marking stuff down. And Hobby Lobby used to put all of their markdowns in one place. Now they've gotten smart and they leave their markdowns in the section where they're marked down. So if there are some random party goods that are clearance, they're going to leave those clearance party goods in the party section until it dwindles to the point that they move it to the back of the store. So if y'all are near a Hobby Lobby, take some time and go up and down every aisle and look for their bright, usually they're like an orangey, yellowy, bright yellowy, orangey clearance stickers. And here's my point. I will be in Hobby Lobby over the weekends to wander the aisles and check out those clearance stickers for myself. But when you're looking at that stuff, think about what else you can do with it, okay? Um, my friend Barb actually broadcasted from a Hobby Lobby and she had like some lime green foam flowers. She was gonna spray paint them. So my point is y'all think outside the box. And if you're like, yeah, girl, I don't have a creative bone in my body. Mm, the creativity gene just passed me over. That's what I'm for. That's why y'all have me. That's why you follow me. And that's why I love y'all so much. So happy lunch hour. 
If you love this idea or you have somebody that you think would love it, that little button at the bottom that starts with S and ends with H-A-R-E, hit that button. Put it on your page. Let your friends and family know about Tinkerbell, what we do, um, how we share the love, how we sprinkle the love, all the fun that we have on this page. And I have not forgotten, I promised you a drawing. We'll do a drawing tonight. Big Daddy and I are gonna be in the shop. And um, at some point when we're in the shop, and I will not look like this, trust me, my hair will be like all piled up or all tied back. And it is about 875 degrees here in Georgia today. So it'll be super pretty. But we will do a drawing for those of you who have sprinkled the love of either this video or some of the other videos. So I will see y'all later tonight. Have fun at Dollar Tree. Talk to y'all later, and until tonight, remember this. May the Lord bless you and keep you, and may his face shine upon you. And today, don't you ever forget that you are so loved. Bye, y'all. See you next time.